Hello everyone, uh, this is your channel Bright Content. In this video, today uh, I'm gonna show you some things about Australia's life insurance company. So I'm starting with my slides. Uh, actually, the purpose of life insurance is to provide the policyholder and their families some level of financial protections should the life insured get seriously ill, become disabled or pass away. With the right policy, this type of cover can help families pay off loans and debts as well as provide them with the financial means to meet daily living expenses. How does life insurance work and what does it cover? Life insurance works by providing a lump sum payment to the policyholder if they become terminally ill or suffer a disability or to their families after they die. In Australia, life insurance policies are categorized into six main types designed to offer protection from different events that may occur. How does life insurance work and what does it cover? Here are some type, payment type, coverage and age eligibility. Life cover. Coverage is also called death cover, provides payout upon the policyholder's state. Age eligibility is 18 to 79. The second type is total and permanent disability, which is called as TPD insurance. And coverage status is medical rehabilitation and living cost if policyholder becomes permanently disabled. Age is 18 to 64. Uh, the third type is trauma insurance. And the coverage will be expenses incurred while recovering from a major illness. Age is 18 to 64. The fourth type is income protection. Uh, payment type is monthly benefit of up to 75% of regular salary. Uh, coverage should be living expenses if the policyholder is unable to work due to illness or injury. Age is 18 to 64. The fifth type is mm -hmm. accidental death or injury cover. Uh, payment type lump sum or income protection. Coverage is provides payout in the event a placeholder dies unexpectedly or suffers an accidental injury. The age is 18 to 64 and the final type is funeral insurance payment type is lump sum and coverage will be up to thirty thousand dollar coverage for funeral expenses age is 18 to 69 this slide uh, i mentioned the what factors should Australians consider when choosing a life insurance policy Actually, to find the policy that best fits their needs, experts advise those who are looking for the right life insurance plan to review and compare all options available. Often, the best ones are those that suit their personal requirements. These are some of the most important factors Australians need to consider when choosing a life insurance policy. Starting with point one, features and benefits. Each life insurance plan comes with built-in features and benefits, which vary from insurance to insurer. The key to finding the right policy according to industry experts is to review the product disclosure statement PDS. Here are some benefits Australians may want to keep an eye out of for according to North Sydney-based comparison website life insurance Direct. Starting with the benefits and how it works. Okay, the first benefit is terminal illness. Depending on the insurance provider, this benefit pays out 100% of the death cover in advance if the policyholder is diagnosed with a terminal illness or given less than 12 to 24 months to live. Generally, the diagnosis needs to be confirmed by two independent medical specialists. The second benefit is funeral advancement benefit. This benefit ranges over $10,000 to 10% of the sum insurance to receive an advance payout. The policyholder family does provide the insurance holder the test certificate and full claims form. Then again, benefits financial advance benefit for those who need to seek advice from a financial advisor. These benefits uh, remains the cost up to specific range which may vary between $2,000 and $5,000 depending on the insurance company. Third benefit is future Injury benefit this allows the policyholders to increase their level of cover without the need to provide additional medical information. This can be done after a significant life event, including marriage, getting a new job, birth, a child, or taking out a mortgage. Premium freeze option. This allows the policyholder to freeze their premiums so instead of their stepped premiums increasing each year, their benefit amount 
amount will be decreased. Indexation. This benefits enable the policy to keep up with inflation. Typically, the level of cover rises by say percentage between 3% and 5% or the CPI, depending on which is greater. The final benefit is interim cover. This provides a lump sum payment should the policy holder die because of an accident during their policy assessment. The benefit is usually the lesser of $1 million or the sum issued at the time of application. Second is exclusions. Experts suggest that the, those planning on purchasing life insurance to be mindful of the exclusion which can also be found in the PDS. One example of what's not typically covered, at least in the first 13 months after the policy was bought is suicide, death or injury while taking part in a criminal or illegal activity, as well as those resulting from alcohol and drug abuse are likewise excluded. Some insurers also do not provide coverage for loss of life or injuries from extreme sports and other risky hobbies. Premium prices Another important factor when deciding which policy to choose is whether one can afford paying premiums not just at present but also in the future. If you are looking for short-term affordability, a stepped premium style might be best for you. Comparison services provider comparing expert wrote on its website. On the other hand, if you are able to start with higher premiums which don't increase every year due to your age, then a company offering level premiums might be better. Fourth, claims and accepted rates. This metric shows the percentage of claim insurance has accepted for payment out all claims that were decided. Another factor life insurance buyers need to pay attention to is the coverage claim time, which indicates how long it takes an insurer to decide whether to accept a claim or not. This is a demo matrix chart, so please ignore this for now. Thank you. The financial stability. Financial strength ratings are given by independent entities such as AM, Best Standard and Poor's and Moody's. A company's score indicates its availability, availability to meet financial obligations including its capacity to pay claims in the future how much does life insurance cost this is actually a general question premium prices of a life insurance policy demand on a range of factors that determine how likely a person will make a claim this include their age smoking status and general health condition the level of cover policy features and premium structure step level or hydrate also affect the cost of life insurance. To work out how much coverage a person needs, the comparison website finder recommends individuals to take a closer look at their lifestyle and financial responsibilities. Among the factors life insurance buyers need to consider and their income and standing debts, living expenses, coverage period, dependents and assets. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe if it's helpful to you and I'm requesting you again that subscribe our channel. This is very new and uh, I'm trying to do my best to make uh, useful videos for you.